Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about crusted scabies, which is also known as Norwegian or exaggerated scabies. It's an infestation characterized by thick crusts of skin that contain large numbers of scabies mites and eggs. It's a severe form of scabies that occurs most often in people who have a weakened immune system or a neurological disease, the elderly and the disabled. It's estimated that individuals with crusted scabies have up to 4,000 mites per gram of skin. Patients are often infected with over 1 million mites. When we compare this with normal scabies, in normal scabies, patients are infected with around 10 to 20 mites. It's contagious, especially crusted scabies is contagious because it involves a larger infestation of mites. Crusted skin with mites can also fall off the body. This allows the mites to live for up to one week with food and protection and without the need for human contact. Common areas you can find crusted scabies are between the fingers, underneath the nails or in the nail beds, which may cause the nail to split, spread over the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. You can also find it in elbows and knees. It's a treatable condition. It's important to continue treatment until no signs of infection are present in order to prevent rat infestation. People living in institutions or those with a weakened immune system may be at higher risk of rat infestation. The risk of sepsis, which can be life-threatening, is higher in older adults with crusted scabies compared to those with the common type of scabies. Lastly, for treatment, we are mainly using oral ivermectin, which is a medication to treat parasitic infections. You can also use permethrin or benzyl benzoate. All right, that was the end of the video. If you find it helpful, consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. You can also help us by joining our channel membership. You can find the join button down below and see you later.